All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So if you haven't noticed, I've been using the Zune Smooth 4 and iPhone 11 to try to get some good video audio. But in the past two weeks, I've been stuck against the bottom of the iPhone here, stuck against the, one of the motors of the gimbal. And that way I get no audio or bad audio because I got to use the iPhone audio or the iPhone mic to do all my audio, which isn't a great thing because as you saw on Wendy's days, it just killed me and sounded absolutely terrible. So one of the things I did was what audio hacks can I do? You know, so I did some reading, I did some research, did some testing, and I came up with uh, about four or five video hacks, or audio hacks, sorry, not video hacks, audio hacks, trying to get a microphone onto this thing. Um, the first one I did was I tried these Bluetooth AirPods, you know, because Filmic Pro supports um, Bluetooth microphones. Don't use these. This is like the worst idea ever because these are limited to 16 kilohertz for your audio signal. And most normal audio is 44, 48, 92, or 192, 96. But nine times out of 10, you're going to be running 44 or 48. These only do 16. And I got a test clip in here doing 16 kilohertz. It just sounds absolutely awful. So don't use these. And by the way, on all my audio coming up where I shot outside, I'm not going to do any post-processing at all. So you can hear like raw audio except for level and gain, you know, of course, to make sure it's level and you can hear it. And that way you can actually hear what these devices sound like. So the second audio hack I did was use this little Movo VXR10, you know, which is just a little microphone, you know, just like the Rode product, but this is the Movo product. And this actually worked pretty good. Um, the downside is I had to use a couple adapters to this and then to the phone. But then when you use this, you got to use a counterbalance because you got to slide the phone away from the motor to get access to the, the lightning connector. And then when you do that, you got to use a clamp to hold the microphone. So it's, it's not that this is expensive. It's just more annoying than anything. You know, all these adapters are five to 20 bucks. You know, this little clamp's 20 bucks. It's just annoying and it does add up, especially if you're not expecting to spend that extra money. So let me set this down right here, the clamp. So the first thing I got was this little lightning to headphone jack dongle, which is about nine bucks from just about anywhere. Or if you have an older iPhone box, this dongle actually came with your iPhone. So you hook this to the lightning connector. And for the headphone, I used a TR TRRS tip ring ring sleeve because that's what comes out of an iPhone is a TR TRRS signal. Plugged it in, and then on the Movo, I plugged in the TRS into the TRS end. So this is a TRRS to a TRS adapter, and this is the Rode SC4, just so you know. Or I can get rid of two of these adapters and go with the single Rode adapter from TRS, TRRS to TRS directly in the back of the microphone. So that looks like a pretty good deal. But it's, you know, it's still something else you got to deal with or something you got to mess with. So we'll go through and I'll show you how to put these on and all that other good stuff. So uh, stand by, we'll get this little clamp on, which you just wrap around. It's just like a little tightening screw. And that'll keep it around the, the neck of the gimbal here. So stand by and uh, let me put this on. All right, everybody, we're back. So here we go. Let me turn this around and show you. So here we have the microphone on the little clamp. We have the TRS to TRRS adapter. 
Then we have the lightning to headphone dongle or adapter. So this works fine. And the way you know it works is when you go into Filmic Pro and go to audio, it says headset microphone or yeah, headset microphone. So that way you know it's working and I can tap on this and see the levels go up in my meter. So that's one of the hacks. And let me uh, show you another hack here, so stand by. All right, everybody, so here's the XSWD lavalier, wireless lavalier mic. Here I have the transmitter. And for some reason, I couldn't get this one adapter to work. So I had to use the Sennheiser XSWD cable that came with it. And then I had to use a different adapter that does TRS female to TRRS male. And I'll put a link to all these, you know, adapters and stuff in the description. But this one was kind of weird. I don't know why the TRS to TRRS adapter didn't work. I had to use like a, an adapter in between to get the wireless setup to work. But it's still an option. You know, I definitely got this in the video coming up. So that's another option to use a wireless mic. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't think this would work. So I like that. But of course you do need these counterweights because I have the phone pushed over from the motor. But that's okay, it's still a great audio solution. All right, and lastly, we got this Powerwise lavalier mic, which has a lightning connector on it. So if I plug this into the iPhone, I have to still move it up a little bit more, and then I have to put a fourth counterweight on it, just so, just so you know. For the other ones, I could use three counterweights, but because of how big this connector is, the lightning connector, I gotta slide the, little, the phone a little bit more farther away from the motor, put the lightning connector on, and then put another counterweight on. But this is another great option. You know, this goes directly into the bottom of the iPhone. So just, you know, one cable, one mic, lavalier mic. Got a test with that coming up too. So there's some four or five audio hacks for you. You know, I have one with this little Movo, one with the Sennheiser, one with this Powerwise. I got some examples coming up. And I also did it with the AirPods and then just the front facing mic itself with uh, no audio hacks. So let's see how these compare. Please choose one that you think sounds the best. Uh, I, it's kind of hard for me to tell. Hopefully, you know, with you haven't been listening to this like I have, you can tell which one sounds better. So let's give this a listen and go through the different audio hacks and see how they sound. Thanks, stand by. All right, so now that we're on the front facing microphone of the iPhone 11, let's see what this sounds like. And it's not too windy today, so it shouldn't be too bad. So let me take a look around here. Take a look at these nice looking trees. Don't ask me what they're called, I have no idea. So it's kind of a cloudy day, so it's not too bad. And we're just gonna go ahead and look around. So how does this sound with just the front facing mic on the iPhone? So this is hack number two. Let's go on to hack number three for the audio and see what we can do. All right, everybody, here we are testing with the AirPods at 16 Hertz. Oh, I don't think this is gonna sound too good. So th this is just a test of the AirPods and 16 Hertz. So how does this sound using a Bluetooth microphone? Yuck. All right, everybody, now that we're on the little Movo hack, so I got a, the little lightning dongle to a lightning to headphone dongle and then a TRRS to TRS adapter, and then into the little Movo microphone that I use as like a quick scratch audio for a camera. So interesting, now that we got this working, and great, there goes a the car. So let's see how this audio sounds with two adapters and two a microphone. Let's just go around a little bit here, go up and down. And my goal is to find out which one gives the best audio. 
and in this setup I do have to have a counterweight on with three little weights to counter balance the iPhone because I had to move it up to get the little dongle in there so I'll show you all this when I get back on these quick hacks and all that other stuff so this is the audio hack with the lightning to headphone jack dongle and then a TRS TRRS to TRS adapter into the Movo microphone and TRS is tip ring sleeve and TRRS is tip ring ring sleeve so if you didn't know that there's a quick little fact for you all right so this is another audio hack oh and the winds blowing I wonder if you can hear that so that was my biggest complaint for the last two weeks was the wind noise so do you hear any wind noise with this just curious I'll find out here when I get back to the computer but interesting I'm starting to find all these audio hacks all right, so believe it or not, we're on a wireless lavalier mic. So this is the Sennheiser XSWD. And I'm going to start doing some walking here to see what this looks like. So we're on a wireless mic. I can't believe it. This actually worked. So the only problem with using these dongles and everything, you do have to use counterbalances. Um, I do have a counterbalance on with two weights. And I'll show you that stuff too. So right now to use the lavalier mic, I have the lightning to headphone little dongle and then the Rode TRRS to TRS dongle or adapter, whichever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and scroll up and scroll around and see what this looks like. Oh, kids screaming in the background. Sorry about that. So let's see what this looks like. I wonder how good this lavalier is at blocking them out and the wind because it's kind of windy. That was my biggest complaints. So a little on the chilly side. So let's go ahead if you can, I wonder if this lavalier is blocking that. So let me go ahead and zoom with this around. All right, so we zoom whip there. <laughs> so if I had to hold the top back button to zoom around there. Pretty cool, wireless lavalier mic. Who would have thought that this would work? Huh. So let's just go walking through the trees a little bit and see what this looks like. Oh, screaming kids are killing me. Sorry for the screaming kids. So, but pretty damn cool. All right, so this is a Sennheiser XSWD wireless lavalier mic on an iPhone. Very cool. All right, everybody, so here is the f fourth audio hack, I think it is where we're using the PowerWise lavalier mic that has a lightning connector on it. So this lavalier mic is going directly into the bottom of the iPhone with no adapters. So how does this sound? And let's go around and scroll up and down and maybe walk around a little bit here. I don't know if you can hear the wind or not. Hopefully not. I know you can hear those dang kids figures. Every time I want to film, there's dang kids. All right, so we're walking, walking downstairs. Is this nice and stable? I hope it is. And this is the PowerWise lavalier mic. Very cool. So we're going from no hacks to a bunch of hacks for audio. Looks like we got this thing finally working. So when you go into Filmic Pro, it says audio headset or something like that. Audio headset audio or audio headset. So that way you know that your microphone's working that's plugged in. So cool. Another way to get the audio. So how does this sound? The wind kind of died out a little bit and I kind of have my back turned to the wind and the lavalier is uh, about four inches under my chin on my shirt. So this is the PowerWise Direct Connect Lavalier Mic. All right, everybody, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed this little audio hack tutorial. Let me know in the comments below which one that you like the best. I'll definitely put all this, these little adapters and gear in the descriptions below so you don't have to figure out what I was using or where to find it, you know, that way it makes it a little bit easier on you. 
So which, which hack did you like? You know, which microphone did you think sounded the best? I thought this was a kind of a fun little experiment, um, especially the last couple of weeks when my audio sound terrible. I should have done this before I started testing this thing, but I didn't think the iPhone microphone will sound that bad, especially out in a windstorm. But, eh, you know, that's part of filmmaking. You learn. So hopefully you learned a little bit, or if not, found this entertaining. Go ahead and give me a big double thumbs up or give me a big double thumbs down. Thank you, everybody, for watching and for listening. Have a great day or night. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.